the Dubai Air Show had a brand new visitor this time, the Boeing F-15 QA. And it's fair to say, it completely stole the show. The F-15 QA is just one rung below the top of the ladder of evolution of the fighter aircraft, the Boeing F-15 EX that has just gone into production. The original F-15 was initially conceptualized as a response to the Soviet MiG-25 fighter in the 1960s that could fly at speeds of over Mark 2.5 to Mark 3. The F-15 first flew in 1972 and the airframe was so large compared to other fighters at the time that it came to be known among pilots as the flying tennis court. But today's EX is very different from the aircraft 50 years back. I spoke to Boeing's F-15 chief pilot Matt Giese and executive director for business development Robert Novotny to find out more about the latest F-15 EX fighter for this special report on the aircraft. So my name is Matt Giese, I'm Boeing's F-15 chief pilot and we are here this week at the Dubai Air Show to demonstrate the First time in 20 years, the advanced F-15's uh, high angle of attack and uh, high maneuverability and power capabilities that we haven't seen in quite some time on this platform. So uh, the two main purposes of this aerial demonstration that we've worked up over the past several weeks at al Air Base is again to uh, prioritize power and maneuverability, specifically the aircraft's high angle of attack capability. And the way we do that is we keep the air show very tight, very close to the crowd, and we perform all of our maneuvers in what's called the display box, which is a very small container in front of the crowd uh, that you'll see most other fighters exiting throughout the air show. Uh, and so we have developed a very uh, specific and very unique routine for this demonstration that focuses on that power and that high alpha capability. So I first started flying the F-15 in 2001, shortly after 9-11, and I was a big part of the homeland defense up in Alaska and protecting the western coast of the United States. Uh, I've been in and out of the F-15 since that time and flying various platforms to include uh, the F-22 and the F-16 as well. Uh, and across all of those platforms, my experience has obviously been uh, very pleasurable and uh, exciting you know, to be back in the F-15. I've been flying it uh, for the Boeing company for the past several years as the chief pilot. Uh, and the one thing that really stands out for me flying this great platform that is now over 51 years uh, you know, celebrating its birthday just this, this just past summer uh, is that the F-15 that I started flying back in 2001, which was the old mechanical flight control system, it was the old electronic warfare system, it was the old radar, this is a completely new platform. It is uh, unparalleled in its capability and specifically its combat uh, capability and the battle space effects that it can put on the battle on the battlefield. It's not our grandfather's F-15, you know, it is a whole new redesigned platform and we're really excited to showcase the power of the maneuverability, the payload, the range and the speed that this platform brings. To tell you a little bit about the F-15 and where we've come from, you know, the F-15 was built Basically, in the 1960s and 1970s, it came out in the A and B model variants initially. We upgraded that to the later C and D models. We found that platform to be fantastic. And we created the F-15E model, which is kind of a medium to heavyweight fighter bomber variant. And that platform has served so many countries across the globe for decades. Uh, it is undefeated in air-to-air -air combat with 104 to zero victory to loss ratio. The air-to-ground variant has been used by numerous countries when called upon and accomplished the mission extremely well. And so that was really the genesis for what became then uh, a lot of program development, especially for some of our Middle East partners, and it bore out what is now the F-15EX. To let you know, it's a new airplane, totally new airplane, digitally redesigned, new manufacturing processes, all new inside. I like to say it's new from tip to tail. So the most powerful modern fighter radar ever built, the Raytheon APG 82 V1, a whole new cockpit, all glass. It's incredibly gorgeous. I wish I had it. When I flew F-15s, I've got almost 3,000 hours of flying C, D, and E model variants for the US Air Force. It carries 12 air-to-air -air missiles, 12. I mean, you think about that, most fighters carry six some carry eight, the F-15s have always carried about eight. This carries 12, and it carries up to 15,000 kilos of air-to-ground weapons, and that's our just go-to-war configuration. We can do that. Plus, it has 500 rounds of 20-millimeter cannon. The gun's located over here on the right cheek as well. 
Mach 2.5, probably faster. We don't go much faster than that because we'll take the paint off the jet. So it has no problem, the speed, the range is incredible. It's the longest range fighter with as much fuel as we carry. It's the fastest fighter out there, faster than any other fighter jet out there on the market. Carries more weapons and it's really a, just a fantastic platform. I believe for those countries that are looking to be leaders in the region, you know, this is a plane that if we were unfortunately had to go to conflict, you're gonna be able to integrate across so many different other partner nations that fly similar platforms. You're gonna get on the data links. You're gonna be able to share information. You're gonna be in, integrate all kinds of amazing weapons that maybe the country's interested in, in pursuing, whether that's counter air, air to ground, counter space. Who, I mean, it's fairly limitless. Because of the power we put out from the engines and the generators, there's no shortage of growth potential. We have enough, what we call swap C, size, weight, and power, and compute. We have plenty of room to grow as technology evolves, right? So when the uh, F-15 was first designed, it was a air-to-air -air fighter, and that was uh, the, prim the primary mission that this aircraft flew. Over the years, it has evolved into a strike platform and into what it is today, the F-15EX, which is a multi-role fighter, uh, can perform both the air-to-air -air and the air-to-ground missions very well. And uh, we are very excited about uh, future capabilities with this platform for many reasons. One of which is that we have the most advanced mission computer that's on the market today, and it has growth capability that will allow us to do some of these future missions that are a priority for a lot of uh, leadership, specifically for the U.S. Air Force. That include things like manned unmanned teaming, flying a lot of payload, uh, uh, high-speed items and articles like hypersonics, etc. So we're excited to not only fill the current role in the missions of the U.S. Air Force today, but all of the future capabilities that we'll be able to provide with the, the EX uh, platform. If you take uh, some of the sensors that are on the F-15 today, so the APG-82 V-1 radar and the advanced uh, warfare system on it, so EPAWS for the, the U.S. Air Force in particular, and you combine those with a very, very high-speed processor, you have a, an amazing capability. We've also designed that processor with growth capability, so there's extra capacity, so if our customers want to add additional capability, uh, that capability is there. In reference to payload, uh, I would say pick a weapon in the U.S. inventory, and the F-15 has probably shot it or dropped it in combat, and if they have not, they're probably integrating it now or, or it's in flight test. So when you think about just the multitude of weapons that are uh, available for those two mi the, the two main missions, air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roll, we pretty much can fly it all, and we can uh, fly up to about 30,000 pounds uh, of those payloads, which is unmatched of any fighter that's on the market today. I think what's exciting about the F-15EX, as a, as a career F-15 pilot, I went to our Air Force weapons school, to our Top Gun school, 3,000 hours, I've taken the jet to combat. I've done just about anything you can in an F-15 C, D, or E. This jet has no limitations. So previously, the flight controls were all with me. And so if I wasn't careful, I might get myself in a particular situation I would have to work my way out of. All new digital flight control system on the F-15EX, zero limitations. No angle of attack limitations, no speed restrictions, no G restrictions. I mean, it'll stop at nine Gs to keep from potentially damaging the airplane, but I can paddle that off and go straight to 12 Gs if I want it. Can you imagine going to 12 Gs if you needed to? So Mach 2.5, and we can go faster, we just don't know, because we don't have enough airspace to test it in right now. And we're a little worried we're gonna tear the paint off it. The customer only needs, you know, not that much. So almost twice as fast as the next jet out there, fully 9G capable, no angle of attack limitations, no payload restrictions for the most part. This is a fantastic platform, ready to go right now. The baseline export variant that we have is exactly what's on display today. Uh, it's actually what we're producing in St. Louis. Clearly customers have some customization things they want to do. Um, and within reason, we can do a little bit of that. Uh, but for the most part, the, the, the baseline F-15EX is being manufactured today, and that's what we export. So it's got the world's greatest air-to-air, -air, air-to-ground radar. It's got the newest all-glass cockpit. It's got the best engines on the market with the 129s produced by GE. It's got the best EW system on the market produced by our partners at BAE called EPAWS. It's, and it has all of the payload capability, the range, the speed that I already talked about. So, so what you see is what you get, and we're ready to export it right now.
I know India is actively looking at alternatives for their fighter force reduction. We'd love to have that conversation. I think a plane like the F-15EX would be something that would really give the Indians some great capabilities, not only today, but moving forward. It's ready right now. This platform has the ability to cover a country as large as India really quickly. It has a, the ability to carry an immense payload, something that I know India is gonna to continue to evolve in weapons, they're gonna to continue to evolve in sensor capabilities, they're gonna computing architecture. This would be a great platform to at least kick off that opportunity. And then we can manufacture them, we're producing them today. So, you know, India is looking for something, I believe, that they can get their hands on and really go out and stretch their legs with, that they're gonna be able to grow with, and they're gonna be able to partner with as well. So I think this is why this would be a great platform for them. I hope you enjoyed this special report on the Boeing F-15EX. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe wherever you're watching this.